Welcome to another New Life Scientific product video. Today, we're gonna to show off our molecular devices, Spectrumax Plus 384. This system also includes a computer with Softmax 5.2 software on it. It is running XP because that's what the version of 5.2 runs on, but it does have all the updated drivers. You may wanna just run this independent of a network. Our techs have tested various features, but really the key feature on a spectrometer is is it reading correctly? So this has been tested with the holmium oxide standard, which we're going to do in this video as well, to make sure that we're getting a wavelength that's appropriate for holmium oxide, so you can have a little bit of confidence that you're getting a working plate reader. Uh, this also includes a shaker option and an incubator option. We'll give that a look. For those of you that are familiar with the Spectrumax Plus 3 to 4, you know that it can test uh, microplates and cuvettes. We're going to be running a cuvette today. It can do 96 well and 384 well plates. So right now you can see I've actually got the incubator on. It is not uh, 33.5 degrees Celsius in this building, heavens no. Um, you'll notice also on the software here, we've got a confirmation we're running 33.5 degrees Celsius. So uh, let's go ahead and get the party started and do what we're all waiting for and run the holmium oxide standard. All right, so we're going to just go to the settings here. You've got some options. You've got a time-based test as well. We're going to do a spectrum, but we're gonna keep it fairly low resolution at 10 nanometers and just do a quick run here. We're gonna delete the previous data. And then we're going to click read. Makes cool little beeping sounds. Okay, that's a joke. You are used to beeping sounds with your machines. And the reason we're not doing a one nanometer wavelength is we don't want this to be as long as my thermal cycler slash PCR instrument video that we did a while ago. And you can see right now it is forming the curve. You can click on the curve and watch a more blown up version uh, in real time as well. So the techs have confirmed that this is producing a wavelength curve that is appropriate for homium oxide. Again, this is pretty low res, so you're not getting all of the, the detail that you would expect um, because we don't want you to sit here for five minutes watching a one nanometer, one nanometer check. This computer also has Excel and Office on it, so you can export these to an Excel spreadsheet without having to you know, pay for another Microsoft 365 license or something. Uh, just for a little bit of peace of mind for you all, um, we're going to close this window here. You might be able to hear the shaker option functioning on this. To turn on the shaker option, you just go up to control and hit shake plate, or if you're really cool, you press F8 on the keyboard. And you can hear the shake option operating. And I'm going to be that cool guy, and I'm going to press F8 and shut it off. Oh, yeah. Okay, it looks like F8 does not toggle it. For those of you that are old school, you can also do manual tests with this and test single wavelength points on your sample. So if you're doing that, you know, and you don't feel like using the software, you've got your options here. You can run a reference, you can read a cuvette. You can also toggle between absorbance and transmittance uh, depending on how you're feeling that day. But this is what changes the set wavelength point that you're gonna test at. So all in all, uh, you guys might be very familiar with these instruments, but this video is mostly just to show you, yeah, this thing's working. We're getting proper wavelengths. There's a ton of these things online, and you never know if it's running air, whatever. This is something that we guarantee and will support if you have any issues during the warranty. So buy this, and rest assured you're going to get a working Spectrumax Plus 384. Thanks for watching.